ऑनरेबल राष्ट्रपति जी मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री डॉक्टर पुरंदेश्वरी कॉमर्स सेक्रेटरी श्री एस आर राव डायरेक्टर ऑफ आई आई एफ टी डॉक्टर सुरजीत मित्रा सेक्रेटरीज टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सीनियर ऑफिशियल्स मेम्बर्स ऑफ द फैकल्टी डियर स्टूडेंट्स इज टूडे अ वेरी स्पेशल डे फॉर दिस इंस्टीट्यूट टू हैव अ कमेमोरेशन मार्किंग फिफ्टी ईयर्स एंड टू हैव इन आर मिड्स the honorable president of india who himself has guided india's trade and finance over decades a leader who has made a notable contribution to our polity in building institutions and also giving to us a direction as we have engaged with the world particularly dealing with the complexities of the multilateral negotiations which he himself had led in the past today when we look at the situation in our own country and around us and what role the indian institute of foreign trade can play an institute which was established as was said 50 years ago but it is also the vision and wisdom of india's first prime minister jawaharlal nehru who had the vision to build institutions after india's independence all the institutions of excellence iits iims indian institute of science space science nuclear science and this institute the national institute of design they all came up because of his guidance and leadership over decades iift can be proud of itself that it has produced those rich human resources who have taken india global leaders forward not only opening its doors and provide knowledge to our own citizens but also to engage with the rest of the world in Europe, America, Africa to train students from western countries in the complexities of trade negotiations, trade laws to have the WTO center here in the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade in itself is a recognition of its strengths and capabilities. The other institutional linkages which have been established are also significant particularly mm -hmm. with the institute of financial management in dar es salaam and we are now in the process <coughs> as part of the decision state yeah, yeah. at the india africa forum summit mm -hmm. to establish an india africa institute of foreign trade in kampala in uganda we know there have been delays that is to be taken forward so that it's established at the moment with australia with canada with new zealand also with indonesia and we are at a advanced stage of india eu trade negotiations much has been commented about it written about it we read in the newspapers and try to learn more than what our chief negotiators or our secretary and i know about the stage of the negotiations and what are the critical issues i would like to say one thing sometimes your speculative analysis can confuse people and create avoidable concerns and panic our negotiators work within a defined mandate which is given to them they take on board the sensitivities of the domestic industry the sectors which are growing at the same time to ensure that we get more access whether for indian it sector industry services sector pharmaceuticals textiles and beyond we have to have the confidence in our sense that by engaging with the rest of the world we will increase our own competitiveness 
is absolutely essential. It is one of the critical challenges that our manufacturing sector faces. And the way to move forward is to have value-added manufacturing, the simulation of high-end technologies, building brand India, accessing newer markets, and bringing up down the transaction costs. I am sure that IIFG, which was produced last year, month when I was here, the five doctorates which were given, you will have more PhDs coming out, more MBAs, both our citizens and our guests from Africa and other parts of the world. I wish you once again the very best for this special occasion. Thank you. We now have a small ceremony to release the commemorative volume of the Foreign Trade Review, prepared especially on the occasion of IFT's 50 years. This commemorative volume is a collection of selected papers from various issues of IFT's prestigious journal, the Foreign Trade Review, which is currently in its 47th year of publication. It is my privilege to request Minister of Commerce, Industry and Textile to release this volume and to present its first copy to Honorable President. volume depicts a cluster flower which comprises many small blooms that stem from the same base and grow up in different directions. The cluster flower is a visual metaphor for international trade and symbolizes interdependence, teamwork and holistic learning. Ladies and gentlemen, in its magnificent journey of 50 years, IFT has transformed from being a facilitator of international trade to an institution of excellence in international business, education, and research. This metamorphosis has been led by its visionary and ingenious directors. And on this special day, we'd like to felicitate our former directors for the foresight and guidance that makes IFT what it is today. We please request Honorable President to present the former directors with souvenirs as tokens of our